stick to empty hand disarms, okay? So the first thing we're gonna think about is when he feeds me a number one, this is not the best line I wanna be in. Because if I had my stick, and he's, he's not gonna feel very comfortable coming in a one. So this one would be a person, again, who's not experienced in a stick, because experienced pe unexperienced people might come in and hit you like this, or they have a baseball bat, they come in like that. An experienced person is not gonna give you the stem. Uh, they're gonna be more like this. So do you, you don't feel comfortable coming one, but the two is easier. So you try to pick it up on the two angle. Okay, so, but if you have someone who's not, is, you know, who's not an experienced martial art artist and they come up a little bit wider, as he comes to strike, the first thing I'm doing is I'm doing a shoulder stop, okay? I shoulder stop and I also keep my, I put my cover here because sometimes if you shoulder stop, then that stick could fly into your face. So when I come in, I go like this, right? Okay, shoulder stop, first step. Then I basically snake it, okay? So if I snake it, and let's say I wanted to come up, I can Muay Thai it, you know, I can use that response, right? I come in, make it real easy. There's an eye rake right there as I come up. Okay, so slow, watch. I stop. As I snake it, there's already an eye rake here. And then I can't come into the, the plum, right? The Thai plum, and I can start putting in knees this way, all right? So it's a lot happening right there. But again, these are more effective techniques. So one more time, slow. I stop it. As I come up and snake, I eye rake right here. Okay, and then I just come into the plum, and I put in maybe some knees, throw down the elbow, and they should be pretty well finished, especially with that eye rake. Okay, so one more time, slow. I cover here. As I snake, I eye rake it, I lock up for the plum, I throw in some knees, and then I throw my down elbow, push, and leave. Okay, so that's one way that we can respond off that dealing with that number one angle. All right, a second one, right, as he comes in, as I stop, I, as I snake it, I, I take this out, I strike here, and I do an arm, armpit armbar throw. That's all I do is come down and throw them down, and I strike this way. All right, so we're gonna do it from this other angle. All right, again, forgive me the first one. As I stop, as I snaked it, right, I just came right up to the eye, to the eye rake. This is gonna pretty much come out, or if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. See, I'm just gonna put the knees in, he's not gonna be able to use that he's not gonna be able to use that stick. That was the first one we did. The second one, again, as I came here, when I did this, the snake, I'm gonna pull the stick out, strike it, armpit armbar throw. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing on his bicep and he goes down. And then you can follow with your strikes with your stick when he's on the bottom, okay? So that's how we deal with the number one angle on some defense techniques, all right? Now, he may go like this on the number one. Okay, as he comes in, okay, as he feeds me here like this, before I get to take it out, he punches me, right? So he's gonna throw a straight, a punch, like this. See how I picked it up and passed it slow? Okay, so as he comes to punch, I just kinda come to the inside and I bring it around and I have him locked right here. So he's locked up. Now the only thing is saving, he starts to drop, take, let go of that stick, right? I take my stick out and then I can strike. Okay, so that, again, what if? What if he, what if when he strikes, you're here like this, he goes to punch. I just pass it like that. Come to that inside, start cranking down here, take the stick out and strike back. Okay, again, real slow. Okay, when I stop it, I snake it, but he punches. I come to that inside. I take his inside line right here and I just go clockwise. I take this other hand and I start pushing down on his wrist peel it out and strike, okay? So again, I'm coming inside, right? But sometimes I might catch it to the outside. So as he punches, it goes outside this way, right? So that sort of breaks that lock again. So I have two ways, I might pick it up inside or I miss it, it comes to the outside line. Hold on to it, hold on to it. See how it just strips right out, okay? So again, we're gonna review that one more time. If I came in but he punches, Sometimes I'll pick it up on the inside. I just go clockwise, bring it all the way around, push right down on the wrist, takes the stick out, I hit, okay? Second way, as I come in, I'm on the outside. I just keep turning, 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 it peels right out, and then follow up with the stick, all right? So that's your stick to empty hand against a number one angle attack. I've given you a couple ways that you can, you can deal with that angle.